Hey everybody, Steven here playing Subnautica Below Zero and today looking at some updates. They're a little bit smaller, but uh, some interesting stuff with this. Uh, one of the first ones, we're going to be at Research Base Zero here. If we come inside the base here, this right here, there's a architect pillar here. So we'll ghost in with the flashlight going. So this is actually inside the base as well as part of a uh, robot here. And then there's actually one inside the container here. So I was wondering what they were going to do with this. Uh, it's been in game since uh, the first launch of early access, but we actually have one of the robots in there now, which I like that look. I'll kind of do a better angle here in a second. But yeah, we have a pillar in here. My assumption is for research, but I don't know how they would get this in here. One of the things from the first game is that these uh, structures are kind of indestructible, but of course we have one of the bases with a warp gate in it, um, or just a gate in it that uh, has a hole blown in the side of it. Um, so I guess it kind of knocks that notion out. But with that as well, I'm going to go into free cam mode. You float through here. If we go into the bedroom here, they've added, it's a very subtle detail, but we have books in a lot of these rooms now. Not just here, we're going to go check out some other ones. Uh, we see that the blinds are in here now as well. Let's float to the other side. We have a different set of blinds now, right here. And then we have books as well. Uh, we'll go straight here. So yeah, they're adding in just all these very subtle details that are making this feel like people actually inhabit these areas. Outside of the blankets and things like that that we've covered already. So let's go back into free cam mode. So now we're going to go check out the same thing with the bases over here at... Uh, the Delta base. But before we do that, there we go. So the radio tower here, it has the finalized user interface. So this is new. Status report, which that'll be the same. And then enter test mode. So as you can see, it's actually an image of the satellite surveillance right here. I don't think this has changed. Yeah, that's still the same. They still have some of that the Z fighting going on. Hopefully that gets fixed here pretty soon. But as we go inside Delta Base here, so we have a bookshelf with books on it. So it's not just blank. And I think it looks really, really good. I'm wondering if... My first thought was like Skyrim, you can pick up these, or The Witcher 3, or games like that where you can actually pick this stuff up, read a book. I don't know if they've changed this. Yep, you can finally turn that on too. Can't interact with anything else. But yeah, it definitely looks like it's lived in, right? Nothing there. So we go to the other base, or the other base just right down here so the blankets seem like they've changed they're just kind of thrown about right but we see that we have the curtains in here too that other style kind of knocked down right there got another bookshelf this one's open too right there Ooh, I'm gonna zoom in on that let's go super slow Let's see if we can read any of this. Nope. Bunch of jargon. Unreadable. But still, this does look like a quarter that is lived in. So we have that. Uh, we have the same thing at the uh, Phi Robotics. So let's zoom across here. 
So here we'll find, and like I said, very, very subtle. It's just you're going to see that inside of Zeta's quarters here, we're going to have books, but these ones, something happened. They've fallen on the floor. Obviously, with this, the kind of ceiling crashing down probably threw all this about. I like this blanket, though. Look at that. I wonder if they'll let you make these later. I don't think this is scannable right now. Nope. Bummer. And I don't think they've added this in. Oop. With any of this. Nope. I'm thinking they might, though. Fingers crossed. Get a cool blanket. Now let's go back into free cam. All right, Sam's quarters. We have another bookshelf with books just kind of thrown down. How about we get this little plant, too? Almost looks like a creature. Like these could be the eyes right here. That's its hair. And then that middle part. Does that not look like a face? The more I look at this, the more it looks like, yeah, it's got like a frohawk. It's got five eyes. And then that top little portion right next to its eyes. That's like a mouth. Now that's all I'm going to think about is that that looks like a, a little creature that should talk. Actually, hold on. Something's throwing me off. What is that? Ah, tools. I was like, what is that? Okay. But the real reason I came over here, zoom across the map. All right, so Sam's necklace has been updated. That was just a placeholder with the way it did look. So now... Oh, come on. And it looks really cool. So if we look at that, just a unique piece of jewelry versus the other one. For whatever reason, my first thought was it looked like um, uh, Marge from The Simpsons. It looked like her necklace. Um, we still find that in Sam's room. Um, there's a white one. I'm wondering if that'll actually change also. But that definitely looks way better than that, uh, that other piece. But I think that's what really what we're seeing right now is all these little things are being improved and replaced with things that are unique. Definitely a lot more like little things like that, like the necklace, the bookshelves, all these things that we didn't have in the first game that are here that I think are building the atmosphere of the game. I don't think everybody's going to like that. I think it, just like with anything with a game, you're going to have um, certain things are going to kind of split everybody. A lot of people are going to like the linear story with this game, and then you're going to have a lot of people that don't. You're going to have a lot of people that like all the small details in this game. You're going to like have a lot of people that don't. But that is to be expected. Personally, I really like it, but just being a huge fan of the game, I'm just glad they're making another one. Because um, I've mentioned this before, but for those that remember, I mean, this started out as a uh, kind of expansion, almost like a DLC for the first game. And now, I mean, full-fledged game. And it's getting bigger and bigger in terms of the story, which is awesome to see. So next, we're going to go over to... The ground sampler. So they've actually done a little bit of work on this. So if we float down here, so just the opening has changed. I mentioned this in the last video, but it does seem like it's actually been pulled out just a little bit. But if we go down, we'll have this first kind of level here. I'm waiting for thermal spires to make it into this. I think we'll see that. And then we go down kind of like in here, just small ones. But once we get down here with the ground sampler, you have two platforms with ion cubes on them. 
So now we have a couple of other areas where we're finding ion cubes. Um, so that's going to help with making, obviously, the ion batteries and making uh, the ion power cells, which that was one of my big thoughts is how are we going to get that? Because initially there just wasn't a ton in-game. Fingers crossed still, by the way. It's probably not going to happen, but that is so close. We have these areas that are so close. You can see it over there where we're looking at the um, kind of deep lily pad biome. Very, very close to the crystal caves here. We're looking at this ground sampler area that's pretty close as well. Don't think it's going to happen, but uh, still hoping we have like one hidden tunnel that'll take us down there. All right. Still have some stuff floating in here too. They are still working on the edge here. I think we'll see that kind of finished up here in the, in the next couple weeks. Um, but that's actually going to be it for this one. I mean, a little bit smaller stuff, but I thought hopefully people find this one interesting with these little things that they're adding. I know they're supposed to add, and I posted this in uh, my Discord, these signs to the... And I don't know where they're going to put them. Um, but Liam is working on that in uh, kind of on his end. But he posted on Twitter. Yeah, I don't know where they'd put them. But essentially signposts which are going to let you know, hey, this is Delta Base or this is Research Base Zero or whatever it may be. Same thing, just more details in the game that just build a richer world. And I'm all for that. So that's actually going to be it for this one, everybody. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all of my content, hit the subscribe button for me. If you want to check out my Discord, I'm going to have a link for that in the description as well. I'm exclusively for right now doing the giveaways on that as well. And I actually have a pair of Baltoon um, earbuds up for giveaway. That is... A week and a half away so not this Saturday but next Saturday that winner will be announced all you have to do is join the discord and it's gonna just essentially randomly draw somebody and then I'm gonna ship it to you so that's gonna be it for this video check back soon for more videos